Okay, so this is kind of going to be my new setup, maybe for a while, we'll see. Um, I got a tripod thing for my camera, so I don't have to sit like right up on my camera anymore. And I got this nifty little thing that will stop and start my camera from far away. So, that's why I always set up close to the camera so that I could, you know, turn it on and off easily and not have to do a whole lot of editing. So, let me know what you think of this setup. If you like it, don't like it, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm here today to do a review. I'm not completely better. You could probably, probably tell by my voice, but I am feeling some better. So, I wanted to go ahead and film. I have a review for you guys today. Um, Jen's comfy cotton and I have an 11 inch heavy and this is a cotton topped fleece back pad it is Russian nesting dolls it has two snaps it's hard to see because they blend in you can see them on the back a bit better this is the first pad that I've had two snaps with and I actually kind of like the two snaps it's really nice it keeps the pad you know, it keeps it from definitely not having any sort of droopage, which is really, really nice. Um, I do find that having snaps there um, sometimes can be a little uncomfortable for me. Uh, most of the time I don't notice it. So with two, um, on those extra sensitive days, I think that I might notice the two a little bit more and it may bother me more. But I'll just have to see. Um... I only did wear this once so far, and I didn't leak, didn't have any problems with it. It's a really good shape for me. This is the kind of shape that I need, really. Um, I, I, um, sorry, <laughs> getting a little tongue-tied, and I'm having a little bit of a problem kind of talking. But... Um, I don't do well with straighter pads, so I always need kind of a flare. So, uh, I find that just flares work best for me. Um, this is not going to be probably one of my favorite pads in my stash, but it definitely is not a bad pad. It works, and it's got a very pretty print and everything. Um, I believe that her prices range from five something up to nine something, I believe. I will link all her stuff in the description box if you want to check that out. And she does offer drying straps if you like to hang dry your pads. She does have drying straps for that. Which I think is a really, really cute idea. I've seen several other people do drying straps and that kind of thing. And so I personally just throw mine in the dryer and never hang dry them unless I have to. Just because I tend to just constantly wear my favorite pads over and over and over again. So I like them to get dry quick. So I tend to use my dryer. This pad is pretty thick, but you tend to find that with heavies. Um, I appreciate um, heavy pads. I don't want them to be like really, really heavy, but I'm finding that I like heavy pads more now. Just something about it just to me feels more comfortable. I don't know. The gusset is about a four finger gusset. And that tends to be pretty typical with the longer and heavier pads. A lot of makers sometimes will offer more snaps if you are somebody that needs a heavy pad but a smaller gusset. I find with heavy pads that I can do the four finger gussets. But my ideal is about the three finger. I'm not exactly sure how many um, inches apart that is. That's why I just kind of you judge off my fingers. And this one has a rather large gusset. So if you're somebody that likes the large gusset size... This may be a pad for you. And it doesn't really have any bunching in the back, not really, which is a really good thing. Sometimes bunching can bother me uh, just because, I don't know, sometimes it doesn't like sit quite flat on my underwear. And it's just, I'm kind of sensitive sometimes to certain stuff. So, 
like sometimes there's certain fabrics that bother me or um, just certain kind of textures and stuff like that. I mean, it's not always a big issue or anything like that. Most of the time it doesn't, but just sometimes I'm extra sensitive down there. So I like um, no bunching. So that's a really good thing that there's not really any bunching and that this pad lays flat. It, um, it's very, it's pretty thick, so it's still some flexible, but not super flexible. You shouldn't have a problem with it moving around. I didn't find that it moved at all. So, I'll just give you one last look at the pad. Okay, and that was Jen's Comfy Cotton. So, I hope that you have enjoyed my... Uh, review and have a wonderful day.